Wouldn't even pay for the, that wouldn't even pay for the postage. Mine was. So I have. Hello. This is the world famous Pavel Zygmunt. And that's Dave. A highly memorable day. Yeah. <laughs> It looks cool. I don't know what it is, but it's coming. Yeah. How is it called? Nuev or something? Neo wise. Yeah. Welcome back to the channel. Today you join me. I'm in Kerry. I'm on the Dingle Peninsula and I'm at a place called the Three Sisters. Uh, it's on Kion Shibel, or Kion Shibel, uh, which is a place actually that was used for the recording of Star Wars when they recorded the, I think it was The Last Jedi, uh, one of those um, Star Wars movies anyway. They record a lot of scenes for Luke around here and out on the Skelligs as well over here. But um, I'm here this evening for sunset. This is a beautiful location. It's called the Three Sisters, uh, where you've got three peaks along the cliffs and you've got probably maybe a 150 foot drop uh, right over on my left hand side here, which is right down then into the Atlantic. And the next thing that's over here from us is the US. Uh, so there's nothing else anyway between us and there. But hopefully I'll get some nice light. As you can see here, there's a bit of patchy cloud that's in the sky there, but you know, it's not too bad. It's promising it's a lot of high cloud as well. So as always, I suppose really, you know, we, we live in hope, but I'm really excited to get to this place. It's a place that I've wanted to come to for a long period of time, but today I'm here. I'm here with two others, actually, two friends of mine. One is called Dave, the other is called Pavel. Uh, he's from Breaking Light Pictures. If you haven't uh, seen his work, actually, you know, I'll leave a link in the description below. He's an excellent photographer, but we've come to a spot here, um, which is really, really nice because when the sun will set, if we have some direct light, we'll get nice colors that are lighting up the cliffs as well. That are on my uh, left hand side here but yeah let's go here today let's see what we can get and i'll show you this beautiful area that we're in in the dingle peninsula
we've reached the park now that we're going to photograph for the evening and it's absolutely beautiful. Look behind me here and that's the last of the three sisters. I think we're on the second sister and then where I introduced the video was on the first sister. So on three sister head is where we're at. Beautiful cliffs. Hopefully we'll get some nice light anyway, but uh, there are some clouds that are there, like I said earlier on, on the distant horizon. It might allow some light, it may not allow some light, but I don't really care because look at what we see in front of us. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to set up here now to take a couple of shots anyway. Well, we have okay light. It's nowhere near. It's going to be as nice for a sunset, but I'll get a couple of shots anyway here just while I'm setting up, get some compositions, play around a bit, and we'll wait then for hopefully what will be some beautiful light. You go somewhere, he stands beside you, and then he says, You still you stole my shot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's fucking. So While I'm waiting for the light, I've come down here to a bit of an outcrop that's actually coming off the cliff edge. And as you can see behind me here, you've got the last of the three sisters. And I'm right on uh, a rock face here. Now, well, okay, it's a big enough drop that's next to me, but I'm around about two meters away from the edge, so I'm safe enough. But what I'm going to do is take a photograph with me in the shot. Pretty much exactly the same frame as you are framed right now in regards to the video. But how I'm going to do it is I'm going to use my Hanel Capture Pro. And this allows me to be able to fire the trigger from around about 100 meters away. Now, at the moment, I'm only around 10 meters away from the camera. But if I ever wanted to get the distance, which I might even use here today, you'll never know. But uh, it's great because I don't have to run back and forth. I can take the photograph uh, remotely from here. I can compose myself, set myself up and then take the shot. So I'm going to stand on the edge here. I'm going to look out pensively into the distance using this here as well. So fold my arms. And I can just press the button and I take the shot. Found my composition. We're almost at sunset, but we probably have around a 30% chance of getting some light. We're surrounded by clouds, but there's a tiny, tiny little gap there over on the horizon, which we're really hopeful that the sun is going to drop down below it, light up the cliffs that are here that you can see, and hopefully some clouds that are above that as well. So I've, like I say, got my composition, and uh, yeah, I'll talk you through what I've done for the composition here to explain the idea behind the shot in here, again, while we're waiting for this light. So looking at the image here, what we see basically is using the thirds, okay, so on the left-hand side here is where I'm going to focus, and that's my focus point, which is a third into the scene. And then we have this cliff that's going to lead us up into the top of the other third. I've got the sky here in the hope that I get some light, like I said earlier on, and I'm focusing here at this point, but I'll probably take a second shot as well and focus at this point to the uh, top of the cliff edge, just to make sure I've got everything in focus. The light right now is quite flat, there's no direct light, but I can see now that the sun is just about to uh, poke through, so maybe it'll break through, maybe it won't, but I like the way it takes you through the image. Uh, there's some wildflowers as well that are around here, so hopefully able to get those out as well inside in the uh, shot. So yeah, fingers crossed now that the light comes and we get some beautiful uh, conditions here on the Three Sisters. Well, the best laid plans don't always come together. 
You can see behind me here, that's the last of the light. Unfortunately, we didn't get any nice sunset. Uh, there was a small bit of color, but not a lot of color. Uh, and it's actually quite cold now as well. So um, I'm uh, lucky anyway, I suppose, to get here. You know, I think I still got a couple of nice shots. There was a small bit of color there and some nice clouds as well that are hanging over the top of Mount Brandon, which is just off the end of the last of the three sisters on this uh, peninsula. But overall, I think I'm really happy with the trip. You know, I got some nice drone footage as well. I think I got some nice drone shots. Uh, got a couple of nice uh, photographs as well. And we also had a kestrel. I think it was a young juvenile kestrel. I'm not quite sure, but I think I got a shot of him as well. It's always hard to tell on the back of the camera. It was a fleeting moment, but you know, we tried anyway, I suppose, really. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed coming along in this episode with me today. Um, if it's your first time on the channel, I would really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell as well if you're not already after hitting the bell and get notified when the next video goes live. And until the next time, from the beautiful Dingle Peninsula, Shonga Falls.